the reasons expressed more fully above, the court imposes the following sentence on count two of the indictment as amended, a second degree offense to wit. The defendant, Robert Barron, is hereby sentenced into the custody of the commissioner of the Department of Corrections to serve a sentence of eight years, which in accordance with NERA, the new the unit, no early release act, he shall be required to serve 85% of that sentence, estimated to be approximately six, six years, 10 months. The court also imposes in this matter on count two of the amended indictment a $100 VCC penalty, a $75 State Street penalty, and a $30 LEOP penalty, and then a VCCB, just for the record, is Victims of Crime, Crime Compensation Fund, SSNA penalty, and Safe Street Neighborhood Service Fund, Absolutely. The open is law enforcement officers training and equipment fund. Further, this court orders that the defendant, Robert Bannon, be required to reimburse the victim of the crime compensation office the amount of $5,000 for the penal expenses paid on behalf of the victim. Lastly, the defendant, Robert Bannon, shall forfeit his position as a police officer. The defendant is hereby credited for the 14 days initially spent in the county jail. As to count five of the indictment as amended, the court finds applicable herein aggravated circumstance four and nine as well. Likewise, the court further incorporates the mitigating circumstances as set forth in the court's discussion of count two as amended. Also, the court includes as a mitigating circumstance, circumstance nine, since in my view, it is, unlike, it is unlikely that this defendant will commit another offense. I give this factor substantial weight. While well, this court recognized that for a fourth degree offense, there was a presumption of non-incarceration, I find that the defendant's efforts to mislead, to tamper with the evidence, is so contrary to acts of human decency that it would be abhorrent in this carriage of justice not to impose a penalty of imprisonment. The defendant has used his position of public trust, his intimate knowledge of the inner workings of the criminal justice system, to intentionally manipulate that system. Such wrongful, wrongful conduct cannot go unpunished. I conclude, therefore, that the aggravating circumstances clearly preponderate over the mitigating circumstances. The defendant, Robert Vanneman, is hereby sentenced on count five as amended, a fourth degree offense, into the custody of the commissioner of the Department of Corrections to serve a sentence of one year, which sentence shall be consecutive to that imposed on amended count two of the indictment. The uh, defendant is remanded to the custody of the sheriff for the remainder of imposition of sentence.